Donald Trump is safe after shots were fired in his vicinity, reported Stephen Chung, the communications director for the Republican presidential candidate's campaign. The incident occurred while the former president was playing golf at his course in West Palm Beach, Florida. A semi-automatic AK-47 rifle was later found in the surrounding bushes, and a suspect was arrested. The suspect has been identified as 58-year-old Ryan Ruth, originally from Hawaii. Shortly after, Trump himself reassured everyone, I'm fine, and I will never surrender. My resolve is only stronger after yet another attempt on my life. Sources told CNN that the arrested individual intended to target the former president, an assertion later echoed by the FBI. It was an apparent assassination attempt. The entire golf course was immediately placed on lockdown and secured. Nearby, a backpack and a GoPro camera were also discovered. Fortunately, no injuries were reported during the shooting. This incident comes two months after Trump was grazed by a bullet in an assassination attempt on July 13th during a rally in Pennsylvania. The sheriff mentioned in a press conference that the attacker aimed the rifle at the golf course fence, about 400 to 500 meters from Trump. Who is Ryan Routh, the alleged attacker of Donald Trump? U.S. media outlets, including the New York Post, have revealed the identity of the suspect arrested by police. In an email to his supporters, Trump wrote, Shots were fired near me, but before rumors spiral out of control, I wanted you to hear this first. I am safe and alive. Nothing will slow me down, and I will never give up. My determination is only stronger after yet another attempt on my life. On November 5th, we will make America great again. Secret Service intervention and Trump's rescue Trump was safely escorted by the Secret Service near the golf club. Agents opened fire on the suspect, who was seen with what appeared to be a gun. It is unclear whether the man was on the course or nearby when shots were fired. The suspect was later arrested on Interstate 195, the main East Coast Highway, as he fled in an SUV. What happened at Trump's golf club? Investigators say one of the first 911 calls reported a shooting between two individuals outside Trump's golf club. However, neither the media nor authorities have clarified if the suspect fired shots or if the Secret Service neutralized him after spotting him. According to the sheriff's initial statement, two people were involved in an exchange of gunfire. I just spoke with President Trump. He's one of the strongest people I know. He's in good spirits and more determined than ever to save the country, said Lindsey Graham, a Republican senator and Trump ally. Intelligence briefing to Trump's staff on threats from Iran. Recently, U.S. intelligence officials briefed Donald Trump's campaign about new indications that Iran plans to escalate attacks against the former president and those around him. CNN reported this, citing sources, though there are no indications linking this new threat to the recent assassination attempt on Trump. Biden and Harris informed, relieved Trump is safe. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris were informed of the shooting near Donald Trump and are relieved that the former president is safe. Violence has no place in America, emphasized Vice President Harris. Meanwhile, law enforcement is discussing whether to implement heightened security measures for Mar-a-Lago, where Trump lives with his wife, Melania. The previous attempt on Trump in Pennsylvania. Today's shooting follows an assassination attempt on Trump two months ago in Butler, Pennsylvania, by 20-year-old Thomas Crooks, who was killed on the scene by a sniper. Crooks shot Trump while he was on stage, grazing his ear, though another person was killed, and two others were injured. That assassination attempt led to a backlash against the Secret Service, forcing the director to resign. In today's incident, Trump's security team reacted swiftly, preventing further harm.